navigating Office 365 is very straightforward. First thing you do is you log in to portal.office.com. And when you do so, you will be asked for your username and your password and you'll be in and you'll land on this screen if you haven't set your device up to land on another screen. This is the default. Up in the upper left hand corner, you will see a what they commonly refer to as a waffle and basically it's a series of tiles. Now, by default, all your tiles will be the exact same size. They'll be these medium sized squares, but you can resize those and you can make them wide or small. This is wide and small. And then you can drag them around to do whatever you want. So you can, you know, move them back and forth and, you know, do different things if you wish. I mean, it's totally your call. And make it whatever's comfortable for you. I happen to like to group all of my common things together here. This is the most frequent thing I use, second most frequent, all my office apps, etc. So you can kind of find your own groove on that. Also, navigation can happen through off of the Office 365 home screen through these icons. So if I wanted to go into uh, OneDrive, as an example, I'm just going to simply click OneDrive. It might challenge me, which it has to log in. It, likely, it won't challenge you. I have numerous accounts, so it, uh, it you know, is always asking me, to log in, but I could see all my stuff in my OneDrive. I can also get to other groups and navigating is just getting the finger. Notice I don't have the finger. Oh, I have the finger. Click once. Also notice in navigation in certain apps, you can select things over on the left hand side, um, whether you want to select folders or the whole folder and other tools will appear for you as well. Now I'd like to pull your attention to a couple different areas on the screen. First, in the upper left hand corner, you'll notice the waffle is still there. It's always there. It's always there for you and you can click on anything and bam, you're going to go into that thing. Okay, so pretty easy. Other thing I'd like you to notice is it says Office 365 here. You can always get back to home. Anytime you can always get back to this screen. If you're comfortable with this screen and want to use this screen to bounce around to different things, right on, then use that screen. Fantastic. The final thing I'd like you to notice in the upper left hand corner is if you if you note every time I click on something else from the waffle it renames it here. So I'm in SharePoint right now. That's what this is. Watch when I go to planner. The SharePoint's going to turn to the word planner. So now I'm in planner. And if I click that again it's just going to refresh the default view. So this allows you to bounce back and forth through applications. Um, and navigate them quickly. So it's a pretty nice feature. The other thing I'd like to point out is there are some functions in the lower left hand corner. Um, the toolbar is context sensitive as we talked about. It'll change depending upon what you have selected. And the upper right hand corner depending upon where you're at will give you different options. So I can look at this and different types of sorting. I can look at this by icons if I like those better and I can even look at information about when things were edited, added, updated, by whom, etc. So some pretty nice information. Up in this black bar, which of course you can change as well, uh, you can also navigate and see emails that were sent to me. I can dismiss those if I want. Um, I have settings. So settings are about Office 365 so you can see the different settings you have. And, of course the infamous help but I will tell you that it's very context sensitive and this help actually helps so help in the old days was not that good but this help is fantastic and then of course if you want to remember what you look like you can click on that but most importantly you can sign out if you want you can view your account you can see things about me um, etc and this type of information is really handy when it comes to um, you know being able to click through things and if you notice one thing I find is a little tough inside of um, Office 365 is you get kind of lost um, quickly because you're bouncing around through this kind of quilt of applications I'm in Delve now 
You may not even know what Delve is or want to be there, so you want to jump back into Planner. Great, use the waffle and do so, or at any time go back to your home screen. And that's it. That's general navigation of Office 365. That's all.